Hey yo, Stoic here. Hey, welcome to the Epoch. Yep, we are ready for the next episode and I cannot wait to get these buildings built over here. But I do have to show you, there's just been so many shenanigans. Looks like I've got enough cake to last me a while and someone on the server has decorated my bridge for me. <laughs> Not just this bridge, but the other one too. Yep, I have so much cake now that it's getting a little crazy. In fact, you know what? The color scheme looks okay with it. I'm okay with it for a while. Let's see. I <laughs> just can't. It was a lot of work to put that in. <laughs> but anyways, hey, let's get right into this time lapse because I want to see these buildings go up over here. All right, so we finished up and I rebuilt two of them. <laughs> I really didn't like the way the colors were going and I'm still okay with how this one turned out. So I'm pretty happy overall. I did keep that one over there, but this one I had to change that red and pink just wasn't gonna work. And then green and orange over here, just not something I was too thrilled about. So I did put in a couple little planners here and there, but I do have my terracotta all in here now. It is just, I've got a ton of it. And I don't know how often I'll get some sales. These don't sell that often, but it is available for the server. So that is one of my goals. And I also went ahead and just put in dye for everyone too. So if they don't want to buy any of my stuff, they can still buy a whole bunch of dye. Maybe there's still glass out there, but I do have room for a future store. So I got to get that figured out. And I do have plans for it, but who knows when that will be. <laughs> Before we wrap up this episode, I want to show you something else I've been working on. This is the February minigame. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right around the corner. Yep, there's the starting line. And, well, don't look at this side. That's This is a bad entrance. <laughs> it's not much, but it, there is love in the air. Love is in the marketplace here for the Epochers. And... This is going to be soon. I got to do all kinds of book writing here, but it will be a scavenger hunt. So everyone will get to have a chance to go to everyone else's base or almost everyone's or even some hidden locations that everyone should know where they're at, but we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go make some books right now. So I'll show you what I'm doing. And this is honestly something I've never crafted and I've learned a little bit about it. So I'll share it with you. 
So I had to get all kinds of feathers. I got the ink and I bought some books from Jamie Katz. So, so what I've done is I'm writing some books and here's one of the originals right here. And I'll show everyone right now, but the here's the plan. So I've got a little poetry here. So surrounded by greenery atop a tree with an amazing view. You'll love all the scenery. You'll also find the next clue. It's cheesy. I get it, but it's fun and everyone will get to visit. So each one of these shulkers that I've got will be painted a different color and it'll try to blend in with the outside of someone's base so that you're not walking through everyone's base and be like, oh, there's a shulker, I'll open that one up. No, it's not going to be too evasive. Everyone's given me their permission or rather they haven't opted out. So we're gonna have fun. And so we're going to find the different colors. So I've got this one already. I think I'm only gonna have about 10 participants at this point. If there are more, I'll have the originals and then I can make copies. And how you do that is you make sure you have some books, some ink sacks, and a feather. And that's not how you do it. You go over to your crafting table and then you can make a book with quill. And if you've got extra books with quill, and then let me reopen it, and you have your original document, you can just copy signed book. So I have titled and signed this one so there's no more editing allowed on it but now I can make a copy of the original and I can put eight of them in here so I don't have to write out everything all the time so that was really nice thing that I found out. I'm excited. I don't know how much you'll be able to see this game from my point of view but Maybe towards the end of the mini game season, we can go ahead and check things out together and I can show you where all things are hidden, especially if no one can find it all. But I think there's gonna be a couple winners on this and the payout is gonna be big. I mean, there's a big buy-in, but the payout is gonna be humongous and they'll have, they'll have just under probably 26 days to do it, but they can do it. They can most definitely do it, so. But all right, hey everyone, thanks for joining me on the Epoch and love is in the air and have a good one. Bye-bye.